Hi, it's Dorothy. In this week's Wisdom Note, I want to share the importance of embracing this idea of becoming more as a way in which you live life. In my work with clients, it's so beautiful when we complete the goals that they've come to therapy or coaching for and we move beyond that initial problem or issue into what they really want to work on and what really matters to them. Our lives are so full and so busy that we often don't allow ourselves the time and the energy and the effort to actually pursue what's really important to us. We are hovering over what we need to do and accomplish and what we are responsible for each day and it often doesn't leave us a lot of time for what we truly want. Becoming more is the perfect unfolding of what is truly wanted. More is about not accepting mediocrity. It's about challenging yourself to be all that you really want without any excuses of it's too hard or you can't or life is okay as it is. Because when we stop moving, when we stop expanding our consciousness and our abilities and our needing to learn, we stagnate we become bored. We often turn to other vices to give us relief or an escape because we aren't truly invested in what we need to do and be to feel most happy and fulfilled in our life. When you limit yourself, when you resist change, you are resisting the growth and the development and the happiness that comes with becoming more. So here I'd like to give you some concrete ways in which you can begin if you haven't already and to embrace the concept and idea of always seeking to be and become more. Now you don't need a life coach or therapist to begin this. Although it's nice to have someone's guidance and expertise to be able to give you the right and best strategies and practices to really propel you forward in a remarkable way. But here's how you begin. You think about your life and the places in your life in which you know it could be better. Whether it's something that you're doing or not doing, whether it's a couple relationship, whether it's how you're approaching your work life. It could be your mental or physical well-being. Pick one area to start where you know you can improve upon, where you can become more. And then list out for yourself the steps, the ways in which the path to which when you follow this will allow you to be more. You may also recognize that the way in which you have been living is no longer working. That may mean ending a relationship. It may mean changing fundamentally what you believe in because you you maybe never believed in it. Maybe you were taught something that never really felt right to you. And perhaps you are now ready to embrace what you do believe. There may be aspects of your life that are amazing and excellent. And then there may be some parts that need a reboot, a restart, a reconfiguration, a redefinition so that you can feel authentic happiness. You can feel pride in your ability to be how you want to be. And you can prove to yourself that you can have and be all that you want. To be more is to learn new skills, to challenge yourself in different ways, to lead with your heart more of the time, to love yourself or to love yourself even more. It isn't that you aren't good enough. It's that we all are hardwired for constant evolution and change. And when we limit that, when we deny that for ourselves, we begin to feel incomplete, we begin to feel like there's something missing, and we struggle with what that could be when in fact all we need to do is look at the areas of our life that could be just a little better, and that's where you begin. Begin now with an area of your life that you are willing to seek out more, to better yourself in, and to invite yourself, your commitment to this, by drawing up a simple plan that gives you the steps of what you need to do. And then to begin this, to take a step towards this and to continue this because with all of your successes, you're going to see just how important and even simple it can be to up the bar, to raise the ante, to feel better about who you are and how you live your life. 
becoming more is the ethereal expansion of consciousness, of living awake and aware in your life that encourages and supports what you want most. Think of it as a natural expansion and growth that mirrors the ongoing and ever-present expansion of the universe. The more you expand in life, the more you grow, the more you witness your successes and your achievements, and the more you seek out new experiences and simply the awareness to stand still and to appreciate what you typically miss by moving without awareness and presence. The more you learn, the more you understand, the more you witness, the more you experience the positiveness and the happiness that comes with allowing yourself the choice and the freedom to become more. There's perhaps no greater expression of life than the free will choice to seek and become more. This is how you become the ultimate version of yourself, to be more kind, more loving, more thoughtful, more caring, you need to begin with what it is you want to become more. So here's a strategy for your practice of becoming more. Once you've decided the area in which you are willing to begin, think about the phrasing, the way in which you speak the words that then fuel and channel your thoughts and your actions. Let's say you want to, for example, be more patient. Because as you know, being more patient unto yourself translates into more kindness and patience towards others. So using the words, I am more patient and I am patient now. Those words, the phrases using I am and I am something more directs you to what is present right here in front of you as well as the objective that you want to seek. It's a reminder in those moments when you're not being, let's say, patient, to stop and to tell yourself what it is that you truly are becoming. When I work with clients, an exercise that we often do is a twofold part. One of who am I, which I have them script out a list of all of the qualities and traits that best describe who they are to themselves. This helps me understand how well they know themselves. Secret, secret. <laughs> and it also helps them to see and know how well they know themselves in their present state. And then there's a part two. Part two is who am I becoming? It's a second list that they then work from, that they look at who they are and decide what qualities and traits of who I currently am do I want to keep? It's great. And which parts do I want to change and augment to become more, to become better? That becomes the focus of our work. That is a great starting place for you to recognize that even as you may feel great about who you are, there's always going to be an opportunity to advance and to evolve and to become more. In fact, we don't ever stop needing to become more. We just simply run out of clock time. So for while you're here, for all that you want to accomplish, consider how you can become more. That's your homework practice for this week and beyond. It's about reveling in the goodness of who you are and enjoying all that you are capable of and then deciding the parts of you or your life that you can make better by choice and setting out to do this. and allowing it to happen because it will as long as you don't stop it you will become more i would also love for you to subscribe to my weekly wisdom notes in email form they include this video and a lot more of beautiful offerings of love for me to you you can use the link in the description to sign up and receive be on the list a weekly message of love from me to you and lastly, this week's podcast episode echoes so beautifully what we are discussing now that I hope you will have a listen. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and that you're going to feel so encouraged by not only what's great in your life, but the areas in which you are going to become even better. And if you like this video, if you found it to be inspiring, let me know by sharing some love right back with a like 
and to sharing the video out to others. And I hope you'll subscribe to this channel as well. Thank you so much. Make it an amazing week. Namaste. If your journey of becoming more involves a little or a lot of self-love, then you must check out the Self-Love Wisdom Toolkit. And I'd love for you to have a listen to the Wisdom Podcast. There is so much love and goodness for you to check out. You can find it wherever you listen to podcasts. Thank you.